At Air Change, we often get asked how return air bypass mode works with ERV or HRV units. So in this video, we will explain it. In our previous video, we covered economy cycle mode for ERV and HRV units. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. Return air bypass is another ERV or HRV unit mode that involves a form of heat exchanger bypass. Its function is quite different to economy cycle mode though, so it is important to understand the difference. To explain why return air bypass mode is used, we need to point out that ERV and HRV units are not 100% effective. Typically they can transfer 60 to 80% of the heat or energy. So while they do do a good job of minimising an outside air load, they are not as efficient as directly reducing or eliminating a fresh air volume itself, if a particular scenario allows it. For example, let's say you have an indoor space that nominally has large occupancy levels. This means that large amounts of fresh air ventilation will be required and using an ERV or HRV unit will be beneficial. But what if there are extended amounts of time where few people occupy the space? Then turning down the outside air volume to meet the current ventilation demand will save energy. This might sound easy enough, but it can be a bit more complicated with an ERV or HRV unit. If the indoor space still needs temperature control during reduced occupancy, and this is provided by an integrated or downstream heating and cooling system, then simply turning down the outside air volume will not work if it also reduces the supply air volume. This is because reducing the supply air volume will be detrimental to the temperature control of the space. Instead, recirculated air needs to be introduced to make up for any reduction in outside air and keep the supply air volume constant. And adding this recirculated air through an ERV or HRV unit requires heat exchanger bypass. To explain how return air can bypass an air to air heat exchanger in return air bypass mode, here is a suction side view of an ERV or HRV unit. This blue outline shows the return air duct connection, while this red outline shows the outside air duct connection. These duct connections encompass the heat exchanger modules and the bypass sections. In heat or energy recovery mode, the heat exchanger dampers are open while the bypass section dampers are closed. This forces the outside air and the return air from the space to pass through the air to air heat exchanger. But in scenarios where there is no outside air required, the heat exchanger dampers close and the return air bypass dampers open. This forces the return air to bypass the air to air heat exchanger and flow back into the indoor space. Note that the return air bypass damper is the lower damper shown here in the bypass section. If you can recall from our previous video, the upper damper here is the economy cycle mode damper, which instead allows the return air to flow to exhaust when it is open. As opposed to economy cycle mode, which is either on or off, return air bypass mode can modulate. For example, for an early morning warm-up cycle when there is no one inside the space, the unit might run in full recirculation, meaning that the return air bypass damper will be fully open, while the heat exchanger damper will be fully closed. But as the indoor space becomes occupied, the heat exchanger and return air bypass dampers can open and close inversely to each other on an analogue scale. This allows any fresh air proportion to be achieved. And often this is driven by CO2 readings from the space, which provides demand controlled ventilation. One thing to note about return air bypass is that the exhaust airflow needs to be balanced with respect to the outside airflow. For example, if the unit is running in full recirculation, then the exhaust air fan needs to be turned off. But if the unit is running at 50% recirculation, then the exhaust air fan needs to be balanced to 50% airflow to equalise with the outside airflow. The supply air fan, on the other hand, always supplies the same airflow, it's just that the outside air proportion changes. The one exception to the exhaust air fan balancing is with package DX units with heat or energy recovery. These require condenser make-up air, and so the exhaust air volume generally needs to remain constant. But we'll cover this in a future video. Hopefully this video has helped you understand return air bypass mode for ERV and HRV units. To learn more about our ERV and HRV product range, visit our website at airchange.com.au.